Good evening. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Miss Norma. It's a little later in the, in the day, but we're getting it done. Amen. Whew, quite a day today. Lots of news. Um, some um, not so happy news, but um, we have experienced uh, another um, death in our family. And so I just ask that you would keep my cousin Kathy and uh, her family and um, in prayer. I mean, it's our family too, but when it hits home like that. So I ask for your prayers for my cousin Kathy and her family um, facing the loss of her youngest son. Thank you, family, so much. Um, let us pray. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your strength, your blessing, your healing, Lord, throughout um, the season, Lord, that we find ourselves in. We ask, Lord, for your comfort, your grace, and your peace. We thank you, Lord, for your loving care, for your watchful eye in all things. And Father, although we don't understand everything that happens and that is set on a plate before us, Father, we know, Lord, that you are with us and you show us, Lord, how to handle it, Lord. So today I ask a very special blessing, Lord, for those, Lord, who are facing unexpected things in their lives. Um, I just ask for your um, wisdom as they make decisions or choose. I ask for your peace, Lord. I ask, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. And I ask, Lord, that you will continue to help us, Lord, to remember to rally around each other and to pray. And not just um, during this little season that we have here on YouTube on a daily basis, but throughout the day, Lord, may you prick our minds and remind us to just pray. Remember our children, our grandchildren, and the little people in our lives, Father. Continue to bless our land, bless our lineage. We thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Special hello to um, Ricky. He helped me out with some uh, travel plans this evening, so thank you, Ricky. God bless you, amen. June the 7th, prayer requests. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Ephesians 3, verse 20. Miss Goring, teacher. My second grade students were calling my name and telling me their requests. They were not taking turns. Several of my sweet students were calling out to me. Each had a different request or question. Frustration bubbled up within me because I felt inadequate. How could I answer each question and respond to each request when they were all coming at once? I remember thinking, I'm only one person, and they're asking me a million questions at once. How am I supposed to meet all their needs? Years later, reflecting on this experience, a spiritual parallel formed in my mind. I realized that God always hears our prayers and requests that we send to him. He is not overwhelmed by the magnitude of the millions of people presenting their prayers, prayer requests to him, even if they're praying to him at once. God hears every single person. He understands every language, hallelujah, and he is completely capable of answering each prayer, catering to each request, and meeting each person's need as if they're the only one person presenting his or her prayer request to him. God manages the entire universe, yet he still has time for his human creation and pays attention to each one of us in a very personal and wonderful way. Sometimes 
I ask my close friends, whom I confide in, whether I'm exasperating them with my issues. They always tell me that I'm not exasperating them and that they are sincerely praying for me. I am grateful for my friends on earth, but even more, I am grateful for my Father who lives in heaven, but is also present on earth through his spirit. Amen. I deeply appreciate God, how God never tires of hearing my issues, concerns, and dreams. I love how he listens to me as if I were the only person in the world, as he does for you too. And I am deeply appreciative of how he always answers my prayers beyond all I could ever imagine, I could ever ask or imagine. God doesn't always give us the answers we want, but he always gives us the answers we need. Amen. He is a good God who loves us with all his heart. He knows what's best for us, and he never tires of meeting our needs. Our reading today was written by Alexis A. Goring. Oh, Abba Father. I know right now, Lord, those words, especially in that last paragraph, may have been difficult for some of us to hear. I know questions popped in my mind, so I know, Lord, that questions came up in others' minds as well. And Father, no, we don't know, but we know that you do individually, Lord, answer us. And Father, right now, as hearts are truly bleeding, and households are saddened by sudden loss, um, sudden illness or medical situation that has come upon them, Lord. And Father, they're sitting and they're asking, and even I'm asking, why? But Abba Father, I trust you. We trust you. So Lord, with the trust that has been built inside of us and our relationship with you, down through the years. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No, I don't always have the understanding, and I may not have the answer all the time. But Abba Father, I just want to say thank you, because you are our answer to all things in our lives and in the lives of those that we love. So thank you, Lord, this evening on June the 7th, Lord, for your blessing and your healing being poured out upon us, being spread across this vast land that we find ourselves in. And Lord, remember those who are suffering, Lord, from a breaking, broken, bleeding heart. Give us your joy and give us your cheer at the appropriate time. Turn our mourning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, into dancing and praise. In the fullness of times, Father, may we see our mourning turn to dancing in Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, 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 amen. Thank you, one and all, for stopping by and visiting my YouTube channel, and I pray that you have been blessed. Amen. And don't forget, those of you who are new to my channel, um, every day I'll be asking for a song, a song to encourage us, a song to strengthen us, Along the way, the last few songs that we uh, added was um, Child of the One True King by Matthew West. And a song that my younger sister chose last week while we were traveling um, to Virginia 
to our cousin's funeral. Uh, she asked for the song, The Road is Rough by Sandra Brooks. So I invite you to check out the uh, the songs for devotional readings list. It's like 49 songs, I think. Um, at some point this week, I think we should be able to hit 50, don't you? So have a wonderful, blessed evening. This is Miss Norma signing off. I love you and have a good evening, everyone. And by his grace, I'll see you in the morning. Mwah. I love you.